Joining us now, Republican Senator from Oklahoma, Mark Wayne uh, Mullen. Uh, it's good to see you, uh, Senator. Good morning. Thanks, and Joe. Um, we, we said in, uh, in going to break that um, Senator Schumer is, is uh, hoping for some bipartisanship. I, I know you were in the House, the rough and tumble House, for a while. Now you're a, a senator, get, getting used to the, uh, the, the, the new digs, obviously. When one or the other party talks about bipartisanship, usually the party in power just means doing what, what they wish you would do on, on the other side. I mean, <laughs> it, what, is, what does Senator Schumer mean by bipartisanship? And it's, there's no chance of that in, in this case, is there? Yeah. Well, yeah, there is. In the Senate, there is a, a chance for bipartisanship. Listen, when we start talking among the leaders and uh, among the members, no one wants to have a shutdown. Uh, there may be a few outliers in the House. Uh, in the Senate, I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat, no one, we want to avoid this shutdown however we can. And so if that's a bipartisan approach, it'll be a bipartisan approach. At the same time, you have the House working through the process. Speaker McCarthy, who is a very dear friend of mine, is, uh, is trying to work with his members to get the most conservative bill uh, that they can pass, that can also be passed in the Senate, that can be signed, uh, obviously, by, by President Biden. So there's a, there's a challenge moving forward. I, I, I am not sure which direction the Senate is going to go. We can't just wait. Uh, forever on the House to move. And so at some point, I believe uh, uh, Leader Schumer is going to have to bring hopefully a clean CR because if he starts uh, attaching a lot of things to it that his uh, uh, Democrat uh, colleagues want, then it's going to be less partisan or less bipartisan for sure, more partisan. I, I believe if, if we can, if we have to, uh, which isn't ideal. We, we need to make changes. The House and the Senate need to make sure we're controlling spending, and we do that by not just re-upping what we did last year, but if we have to, we can pass a clean CR and uh, I believe a very strong bipartisan manner in the Senate. If you look at the, the, the entire spectrum, Senator, between, let's say, the guys in the House that are the most conservative on spending, and then you look at the, the, the Democrats in the Senate that, that feel obviously uh, a different way, it, it, it's pretty daunting. It's a daunting issue, isn't it? Because you really don't, I don't think a lot of uh, those uh, people in the Senate, Democrats in the Senate, really, they don't, they haven't found religion in terms of cutting spending. They're ready to spend more. And then on the other side, you've got guys, 11 or 12, who are perfectly willing to shut down the government, even if it hurts the Republican Party, because they're so, uh, I don't know, what, what would you call it? They, I mean, they're, they're so fiscally conservative that they can't see the forest through the trees, I think. Well, there, there's a fine line between some of them, and I really say maybe one or two in the House. It's, they, they claim to be policy-driven, but really it's about self-promotion. Um, it's well, because you you've about? got to be practical. Who are you talking about, sir? You know all. Well, who are you I, I, about? I, 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 I'll use Matt Gates for, for example. Matt oh, Gates is name more names. about promoting himself than he, is, than he is really about actually policy, sound policy that's going to move forward. He's more focused on doing a, a motion to vacate the chair than he is about moving policy that can get signed into law. We all want to be as physical conservatives as we can, but we also have to be uh, practical on what we're dealing with. Republicans, we don't control both chambers and we don't control the White House. And so the bill that we're going to have to get signed in law isn't a perfect bill, but there's never been a perfect bill up here. It's going to be a bill that we're going to have to negotiate on, and both sides are going to have to agree that there's things that we didn't want in it. Uh, but that's what we have when you have a divided government. Now, if we, if we controlled uh, the, uh, the, both chambers and we control the White House, the bill that we decide on in the next few days w isn't the bill that we would want at that time because we'd want a much more physical conservative, but we got to be practical in the approach. It's, it's like this. When I operated my businesses and, and I was negotiating deals, Joe always said I wanted 110 percent of whatever I was negotiating for, but I was willing to negotiate 270 percent, but I walked away from the table at 69 percent. With a divided government, we have to negotiate a lot more than we probably like to, but that's the fact of the matter we find ourselves in right now. What you say, uh, Speaker McCarthy is a good friend of yours. He's, he's, uh, Yes. I don't know how I would characterize what what his life must be like right now. He he uh, we, we're all you know uh, he just looks he's got a new haircut, but he looks like this is wearing on him a little bit. It's tough, isn't it? I mean, is is he, but he's a fighter. Is he going to prevail? Do you think he's going to be speaker a year from today? 
Senator? Absolutely. If, if, if Kevin McCarthy wants to be speaker a year from now or two years from now, he'll be speaker. Uh, I tell you what, when you talk to members of the House, they'll typically describe Kevin as a friend. Uh, I describe him as one of my best friends. And uh, why this is tough, I mean, he's got a lot of weight. He's trying to balance a lot of different personalities over there in the House. He's doing it in a very respectful manner. You know, this is, you could say this is similar to 2013 uh, when you had John Boehner as speaker and you had uh, uh, Harry Reid as, as leader. Um, the difference is, is, is Kevin is a much more personal individual. Not that, not that John Boehner wasn't about relationships, but Kevin articulates a little bit more. He spends more, a little bit more time with members, really trying to find that sweet spot that the conference can move together on. The problem is with 218 um, and with only a very small mi majority over there, he doesn't have a lot of wiggle room to negotiate. It, but he, it, it, I think it is probably wearing on him a little bit. But man, he, every time I talk to him, he, he's, he's still in a joyful mood and, and glad he's speaker and, and looking forward to the, the work ahead of him.